Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about automatic reordering rule in Odoo 17 inventory module. So, automatic reordering rule is a mechanism that triggers the restocking of the product whenever the product falls below the predefined quantity. This helps the business to keep an optimal stock in their inventory. Also, this helps to reduce the out of stock of the items in the inventory. And this also helps in smooth fulfillment of the sales order. So let's see how can we manage with the automatic reordering rule in Odoo 17 inventory module. So here we're going to deal with the automatic reordering rule for the product bottle and to manage with the automatic reordering rule ensure that you have designated the proper vendor under the purchase tab. And here you can find the vendor as many with the price of three uh, for the product as well as the delivery lead time will be one and that's a very short lead time to deliver the item to the customer. Now uh, you can just set the reordering rule for the product. So under uh, this you can see that the on-hand quantity is currently 14. So we have um, a small quantity of the item in the warehouse but we need to set a reordering rule. So the reordering rule will be setting for the purpose that here we will be uh, defining a rule like we will preset the quantity that to be in our stock. So whenever the quantity falls below this rule, the purchase order will be uh, triggering. Um, so here you can see that the on-hand quantity is set to 14. As we have an on-hand quantity of 14, there is a possibility to get uh, order for 14 quantity. So that you can see that uh, the uh, forecasted quantity also will be set to 14. As we are going to perform the automatic reordering rule, you can set the trigger as auto. And here, we are going to set the rule accordingly. Like, we must have 20 quantity at least, not at least, at minimum in our warehouse. So, whenever the quantity falls below 20, then the automatic reordering rule happens. Now, here you can see that we have just set the maximum quantity as 50. So, if you are setting the maximum quantity, we do not exceed the stock in the warehouse. So we need a maximum of stock with 50 quantity. And here you can see that the two order will be set to 36. This is because um, we can just have a calculation to consider the two order. The maximum quantity is 50 and the forecasted quantity is uh, 40. So when you just subtract 50 minus 14, this would give you 36 as the two order. So the maximum, I mean, uh, now we just only need to consider 36 quantity to just keep in the stock to reach uh, the quant maximum quantity of 50. Now here you can see a button uh, or the field called um, multiple quantity. So multiple quantity ensures that the order brings stock level up to the maximum quantity or least which means at least closer to it. So here you can see that I'm going to set uh, the multiple quantity as 8. So in this case, when you just set the multiple quantity as 8, the two order will be changing to 40. This is because we know the maximum quantity is 50 and the on-hand quantity is 40. And we will be getting 36 actually as the two order before setting the multiple quantity. And here we can see that uh, 36 is not a multiple of 8. And when you just multiply 8 into 1, you will get 8 quantity to that to be stock in your warehouse. When you just consider 8 into 2, uh, that would give you 16. So, uh, yeah, that won't reach the minimum level uh, of quantity that to be stocked. And when you just consider 8 3s are 24, um, 8 4s are 32, then uh, 32 is just lower than that of 36. So, uh, we know we haven't made the uh, rule to just set the quantity in our warehouse. So when you just consider 8, 5s are 40. So in this case, uh, this is closer to 36. And um, yeah, not below the quantity of 36 that uh, uh, to order the item. So in such cases, we will just take the quantity that is closer to to order. So when we use the multiple quantities and we will consider 40 as the two order by considering 8 FISA, 40 will be the quantity. Now uh, we know uh, we would just overstock um, certain quantity and that has shown over here. Now 
here we are going to just create a, a sale order for the customer and let's check how the automatic reordering rule is going to happen so before that uh, under the operation tab we uh, can just perform the range scheduler so to manage with the range scheduler we have to first enable the developer mode so go to the uh, settings app of Odoo platform where you can just enable the um, yeah our rule I mean automatic reordering rule so if you want to just manually rent the automatic reordering rule you can just click on uh, rent scheduler so here I need to just activate the developer mode to just uh, deal with the rent scheduler now let's move on to the inventory module and under the operation tab you can find the rent scheduler so um, I don't need to manually do any interventions over here and I'll be moving to the sales module to manage with the automatic reordering rule so we know automatic reordering rule is processed as um, a customer places order um, above or which exceeds the exceeds the stock that is available in the warehouse. So uh, you can just click on new and here you can choose a customer. So Dick Verdict, uh, we know he is the frequent customer who would like to purchase the body. And uh, till 14 quantities we know the uh, products will be available. So let me show you that as I just choose a uh, product quantity as 14 you can see the product is available in the warehouse and uh, you can see that and let's change the uh, quantity to be 18 or let's set the quantity to be okay just 20. So here you can see that as we just uh, set the quantity to be 20 we don't have sufficient quantity. We have uh, 14 in our stock and we need six more quantity. So here you can see the available quantity as well as the forecasted quantity. And uh, when you just move on uh, to this view forecast, you can see from where uh, this forecasted inventory has taken and from which quotation the demand has created and uh, the forecasted pending orders will be also shown here. Now, Let's go to the uh, quotation that we are dealing with and let's confirm the order. As we just confirm the order, uh, we cannot just deliver the item because we don't have sufficient quantity. You can see that the product availability would, will be set to not available because the demanded quantity is 20. And the quantity that is available in our warehouse will be just 40. And we know as we have just uh, performing with the automatic reordering rule, a purchase order will be created against the winter for Benny. So as you just move on to the purchase module, um, here you would be able to find that a purchase order is automatically triggered here, which means the rent scheduler, the tool has just processed. And you can see the total quantity that we require will be 56 and the unit uh, price is shown here. And here, uh, under the other info, you can see uh, the source document and everything. So let's uh, move on and uh, so as you just move on to the forecasted uh, quantities you can find the reserved quantity is 14 that is the quantity is that we have uh, already in our warehouse and the not available quantity is minus 6 because we have just received an order from uh, Deco Edict for 20 quantity of uh, uh, the bottle and as we have reserved quantities of 14 um, we can just uh, subtract uh, like the order demand is for 20 quantity and you can just subtract uh, the reserved quantity that would give the not available quantity as minus 6. As uh, we are not having the um, sufficient quantity of that is the 6 quantity you can see that the forecasted inventory will be set to minus 6 and um, here you can see the request for quotation will be 56 and uh, the forecasted with pending will be 50. So altogether you can find uh, that the request for quotation is uh, 56 and that is shown over here. Now let's confirm the order and uh, we can just receive the product in our stock. So you can just click on validate and when you just uh, consider the product here you would be able to find currently we have um, yeah 70 quantity in the stock and um, now we can just perform the sale order because we have sufficient quantity in our stock so for that you can just move on to the sales module and in the sales module you can 
just use the uh, yeah sale order that you are dealing with. So as you just want to the delivery tab, you would be able to find that the product is currently available. And now let's validate the process. So we can just confirm the delivery operation through an SMS and we have just turned with the delivery. So this is how we manage with the automatic reordering rule in Odoo 70. I hope this video clarifies the explanation of um, automatic reordering rule in Odoo 17 inventory module. So if you want to get any Odoo customization or you require any uh, topics regarding Odoo, feel free to contact Team Cybrosis. So hope this concept is clear. Thank you for watching the video.